Australia's freshwater issues began all the way back when European settlers first colonized the land, which means the earliest projects aimed at solving water shortages were thought up more than a few hundred years ago. Among the most well-known of these early ideas were three bold proposals to create an inland sea, the Bradfield Scheme, the Clarence River Scheme, and the Ord River Scheme. Fortunately, nature had already provided a potential location for such a sea. Deep in the heart of the continent lies a series of saltwater basins. Some of them include parts of Lake Eyre, but most are completely dry. The idea of filling this basin with water has been around since the late 1800s. The most famous and detailed version of that vision was proposed in 1938 by an engineer named John Bradfield. His plan went down in history as the Bradfield Scheme, and it aimed to divert the flow of the Tully, Herbert, and Burdekin rivers toward the Lake Eyre Basin. In other words, instead of letting those rivers drain into the Pacific Ocean, the plan was to redirect them over the Great Dividing Range and merge them with other inland waterways that eventually feed into Lake Eyre. The proposal included digging a massive canal stretching nearly 500 miles all the way into the arid interior of Queensland. Supporters believed it could completely transform the climate of a dry region covering over 4,000 square miles. 